we're all trying to do the best we can with our time management, right? So we're keeping track of what's distracting and interrupting us during the day. What if one of your interrupters is a human? What if one of your biggest interrupters during your day that stops you from being productive and effective is a person who keeps calling you or interrupting you or knocking on your cube or your office door. I have a script for you in both of those cases, whether you are the boss or whether the person who's interrupting you is your boss or your client. And I am telling you, I know that this works. Last week, I did a leadership conference and about being in control of your time, energy, and money. And a woman raised her hand in front of the whole crowd and said, I have an employee who interrupts me 20 times a day. What do I do? And I said, I have the solution for you. Here's what you need to do. You are the boss. You are in charge of their roles and responsibilities. That is what your job is. So maybe you haven't made that clear. So at the beginning of next week, what I want you to do is sit down with that employee and I want you to say, here are your roles and responsibilities and here's what I expect you to get accomplished this week. Do you have any issues with this? Or do you need my help or do you have all of your resources? You listen to their answer, you resolve those things, and then you say, how about this? We both have a lot to do and it's very distracting if we get interrupted doing what we're doing because we have such have to concentrate. So why don't you make a list of everything that you need my help on once a day and at the end of the day email me and in the morning if you don't have all the resources that you need, I'll get them to you. Okay, so that you you control the time when he interrupts you and he, you control the time when you look at that. That's number one. Then a little tiny girl out, um, raises her hand in the front row and she goes, what if it's your boss? And I said, oh, honey, here is where you get to lean in. You get to be in so much control that their minds are going to be blown about how you're going to solve this problem. You are going to be proactive and sit down your boss or your client that keeps throwing stuff at you and you say, I love what I do and I am so happy and capable of delivering what is on my plate and I want to accomplish all of those things this week. But I notice that you constantly call me and add things to my plate and that changes my priority list and that also adds to the time and energy I need to spend on this project. So I get a little... Um, unclear about what my priorities are that you expect me to accomplish. How about this? When you add things to my plate, how about you email it to me and at the end of every day I will make a new priority list and email it to you. And that way we're both on the same page about all these new things coming to my desk and I can get what I can get done. And I'll tell you if there's, if there's too much on my plate. That way you look like you've taken control, that you're fully capable. I want you guys to get your time back. I want you to stop the interruptions and control what you're doing during the day. And you can do that with these non-confrontative conversations about what you want to get accomplished that week and don't accuse the interrupter of what they're doing. Just say, I want to do, be more effective. How can I help you be more effective with the priorities? That's your back pocket strategy for the week. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear how it goes. Have a great week.